That's my hell, too. Please welcome the lovely Tony Collette, everybody. Tony Collette. You look sensational. May I say, you look fantastic. You may say. You do, and you don't look like you. You, you haven't got muffin tops at all. Oh, You've well, got, thank you, you very much. No, they're, they're, they're and you. Get out of there. Well, let me see. I'm just looking at your shoes. Oh, my new shoes. Yeah, look at mm, that. Thank yeah. you very much. They're nice. Thank you. You can Are borrow you, them anytime. I'll, I'll wear them. <laughs> I think the gentleman would love to see me dance in these shoes. I don't doubt. It. Very nice indeed. No, it's a very sexy look. How is it doing with the show? Congratulations on getting the Emmy nomination. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's great. Now, does that. Now, is that your first Emmy nomination? Yeah, yeah. I, right. I... Well, let me explain to you. Because I have had an Emmy nomination. Not an Emmy, but a nomination. Here's what happens <laughs> the day you get nominated, you're the winner. You're, you're an Emmy nominated. Emmy nominated winner. You're one of the winners. And then when you go, if you don't win, you're loser. a loser. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I can't wait for that moment. Yeah, no. <laughs> That'll be all right. Who are you up against? Um, some very fine actresses, actually. You don't even care! <laughs> <laughs> it's not something I, you know, I never even thought I'd be working in TV, so this is like a very delicious cherry on top, you Th know? This is, that's where the money is, you know, TV. I'm right. not here, obviously, but... Uh... <laughs> But that's where the money is. The films, uh, it's all gone away for films. They're, apparently, they're not making them anymore. Apparently, yeah. I haven't done one in a little while, actually. So. Well, you're, you're doing this. You play four or five different characters. I play a few, yeah. It's yeah, no, great. Don't the, uh, does the actors' union have a problem with this? <laughs> I wish they did, speaking of earning lots of money. <laughs> do, you, do you get you get one paycheck? One you? measly fee. Does, does it, so it doesn't reflect on, like, if you do a very difficult character... A lot of that in one episode, they don't say, well, you did a lot of the truck driver there, so, no? Uh, unfortunately. Yeah, they're bad. They should have a me? suggestion box. <laughs> you know, who makes it? Who are you working for? Showtime. Showtime. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, they're Whom I love. <laughs> don't you know. I do. They're ama they're ama I think they, work, they make fantastic television. You're not in Hollywood now. You can say the truth. I really can genuinely say that they I love making the make show. They do actually make good. They do make good. What else do they make on Showtime? Uh, the Sopranos and no. uh, <laughs> Deadliest Deadliest Catch. They do that. Which, uh, what is that? Deadly. You never seen Deadliest Catch? No. Oh, girl, it's awesome. Right. Deadliest Catch oh. is about the Alaskan uh, fishermen. Oh, and they really? go out fishing. Is it a documentary? And, yeah, it's a documentary series. Oh, I would series. love watching that. Oh, it's fantastic. And they go out and they, they try and catch crabs. <laughs> what kind? Giant crabs. <laughs> Giant horny crabs that they put, they put into uh, big pots. And apparently that's very dangerous. Mm. And, I'll and look out for it. Thanks no, for the tip. Oh, it's a great show. It's a great show. It wouldn't be in the same category as you, though, Perhaps at the Emmys. Perhaps not. You'll be able to tell. They'll... The crabs will be walking down Eating to a different... Eating crab. <laughs> no, you, you'll be all right. Now, have you been back to Australia much recently? I have, yeah. We finished the first season last, uh, the end of November, and I've pretty much been at home since since then. I just where is home in Australia? Today. Sydney? Yeah, Sydney. No, no, no. Adelaide's where I like in oh, Australia. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe you've been there. What, Adelaide? Yeah. Adelaide's fantastic. The, the Crazy Horse Strip Tea Saloon in Adelaide right there. <laughs> I, d I did actually dance on my one and only bar in Adelaide, so I, I, I have to agree, it's a little when? extreme. When? When? Were you there? I knew I recognised those shoes. <laughs> really? What the heck? It's a funny place, though, because, it's, I mean, it's, a, it's like an overgrowing town. It's a funny little... And, and it's the capital for... for uh, it, it has mass murderers and churches. That's what it's known for, most churches and, and most murderers in Australia. And that's where you went. How embarrassing. Did you go anywhere else? Nah, I was too traumatised after Adelaide. I had to go. No, I went to. I went all around. I went to Sydney and I went to Melbourne and then I went to Adelaide. That's for, it, really. For I know there's more than work? that. What? For fun or for work? Uh, well, it was the 80s, so I kind of combined <laughs> them both. Uh, in something we call chronic alcoholism. <laughs> Um, no, it's a very nice. I like it out there. It's the lucky country, they call it, you know, Australia. The mm. nice Australia. Do Australians give you a hard time for your success outside of Australia? No. I they mean, never do that. The Australian press are never snippy about people outside of Australia. 
Uh, well, we have what's known as the tall poppy syndrome. Ah, Are you me. familiar with that? I am, because I'm from Scotland and they're right. very angry at me right now. You get too tall and they cut you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. actually, that you can take a metaphor from that from the Deadliest Catch show. And I'll tell you why. Because, <laughs> this is true, crabs, when they're in a box, right? When you get a box of crabs, uh -huh. if one of the crabs tries to escape mm -hmm. and run off to freedom, mm -hmm. the other crabs pull it back down to its, to its certain doom. <laughs> So it's a similar thing? Kind of. Yeah, right. They don't say, come back to Australia, Mike. They don't do that. Is that the worst Australian yeah, accent you've ever had? That was pretty heard? bad. Let's yeah, yeah. throw ourselves on the barbie. Yeah, oh yeah, I did it. That was me doing a bad Australian accent. Well, you're that was me doing your Australian accent. Well, uh, well, do your Scottish accent then. Let's hear that. I can do it pretty well, actually. I'm sorry, I don't understand what you said. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually quite good. Thank you very much. I can, I can do Australian okay in some occasions. I can do two words, right? You need the booze, don't you? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that certainly gives it an air of authenticity. Because I thought I was a chronic alcoholic, and when I went to Australia, I went, now you're just a bloke. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. I, I think the word that I could say well in Australia was the two words, really great. When they say, really great. <laughs> no. Nah. Do you miss the uh, deadly animals and the kangaroos when you come to uh, Los Angeles? <laughs> They're out there. <laughs> I, know, I know, I know. What do you like to do here when you're in L.A. then? You make the show in L.A., right? Yeah, yeah, we shoot in L.A. I'm quite fond of L.A. now. I, I like, actually, I like it too. Yeah, it's a very blue town, obviously. But, uh, <laughs> it's a nice hue of blue. Yeah, it's a hue of blue. Um, I work. I could be on the moon, really. But yeah. I have, I, you know, I have great friends here and, you know, I go out. There's some amazing restaurants. It's my favourite place to shop, actually. Hence the shoes. Yeah, no, they're great. There's a lot of stores you can get shoes like that in my size in LA. <laughs> True. And I, I, just, I just happen to know. I don't go to these stores or have a discount. You have a discount card? I have a discount card, yeah. I have the... They punch the holes no, out. No, I was no, in no, for I another don't. pair. No, so where do you go then to do your, uh, to do your eating in the great restaurants? Nelly, have you been to Jose, Jose Andreas's place? No. There's a Spanish chef. He's called Jose Andreas. What's the name of his restaurant? Right, okay. Uh, <laughs> It's called uh, Kryptonite or something, and uh, it's not Kryptonite, it's uh, Bazaar. Bazaar, it's called. And How it's did you a get Kryptonite out of Bazaar? <laughs> I thought I told you I took a lot of drugs. Uh, there. Ah, so it's called Bazaar. Spider Window. He, he has these, uh, it's, it's like modern tapas with a new feel to it. He right. was on the show the other night. Oh. It was really good. He was very good. And he makes popcorn that makes smoke come out of your nose. Is that chilly, hot? No, it really comes out. He cooks it in liquid nitrogen, and then really smoke comes out of your nose. I swear it's true. Isn't it true? You were there, weren't you? It was, it's true, Tony. It's true. Did, he, did you eat it on the show? Yeah, he did it on the show. I okay. could get a tape if yeah, we I'll had tape. Take, we don't have tape here. It just we shoot. It goes straight down the tube and boom, off it goes. Out to the world. That's it. Yeah, we don't we don't record it. Doing here then? Yeah, no, no. No, I mean, it's live. It's, it's whatever time it is in your region. Anyway, look, <laughs> congratulations on the show. It's really a remarkable piece of work. You're a fantastic actress. And, and I, think, you. I think you'll probably be a winner at the Emmys. Oh, you're very lovely. Guess. Thank you, Craig Ferguson. Well, you're very welcome, Tony Collette. Tony Collette, everybody. We'll be right back. My first guest tonight is in a film called Jesus Henry Christ, which is in theatres now. Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Tony Collect, everybody. Indeed. I like Thank your jacket. You. Thank you very much. I like your fat tie. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> it was thin until you came out. Uh, you flatter me, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I, 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 well, I've talked to you about the film in a minute, but the, uh, everyone in Australia is mad at me. You know this. I did hear about it, yeah. Yeah, because Guy Pearce was here and we were joking about how Canberra is not the most exciting city in the world. In fact, I think I might have said it's uh -oh. a dump. But <laughs> it was no, I've never been there. That was the joke. That was the joke. I was... I... I'm sorry. I don't often frequent... Canberra? ...particular city. Well, well, you're from Sydney, aren't you? Yeah, I am. That's the capital of Australia. Culturally. 
<laughs> oh, so Canberra is it's the capital. It's actually the capital, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. I see. This, is, this is probably where the problem began. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, though. I want, uh, when you go back to Australia, which I assume you do because you live there, mm -hmm. um, could you apologise to everyone? Yeah, absolutely. I'll hand out leaflets. Yeah, I, I meant no offence at all. I love Australia. I'm a big fan of your uh, animals that keep other animals in their pockets, all that <laughs> stuff. I, I just, you know... I adore Australia. I don't want you to think that in any way. I know that you don't feel... No, I don't. I love Australia. I'd, I'd hate to not be invited back, which I haven't been. <laughs> hey, you want to come visit me for Christmas? I don't know. Oh. Because uh, I think everyone still hates me. Oh, no. no. But they're very easygoing, Australians. They'll forget yes, it. Yes, until you say bad things about Canberra, then they lose their minds. Mm. <laughs> Oops, I don't know what to say. No. <laughs> So, uh, what's this? And the, the, the film's very difficult to, uh, to say the title of it on broadcast television because you can't say it in a certain way. You have to be very... Don't say it with feeling. Right. Uh, you have to say, you know, Jesus Henry Christ. Jesus Henry Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why is it... Is that the kid's name in the movie? His name is Henry, and if people say... Yes, they do sometimes, yes. Uh, Not on CBS, though. No, they do say Jesus H. Christ, and, uh, and so, yes, his, his name is kind of inserted. Right. Yep. And it's about what you are, he goes nuts and a bad mouth Canberra, and that's what happens? <laughs> uh, it's about a, a 10 year old boy who was brought up by his feminist mum. Right. Who uh, never had a relationship with a guy. She basically went to a sperm bank and bought some mm. little fish and created this human. And so he gets to the age of uh, 10 and decides that he wants to find his biological father, played by Michael Sheen. Ah. Brilliantly played by Michael Yo, Sheen. Oh, most things are brilliantly played yeah, by Michael Sheen. Yeah, he's a very clever Yeah, he's a person. very, very good actor. He's Welsh, you know. Yes. Yeah, don't, don't ever say anything bad about we uh, the Welsh. They won't write bad <laughs> things like about Canberra. They'll come to your house. What's that coming to go? The Welsh. <laughs> yeah, they'll say, what did you say about? Wales, and they'll come round and they'll, I caramba, I caramba. Not very well. I've, I've met Welshmen in, in bars in my life. You just, all you say is, Wales is great, and they go, that's right. <laughs> well, what about the Scots? The Scots are quite hefty. Well, the Scots too, yeah. We went to Scotland. You ever been to Scotland? I have been to Scotland, yeah. Yeah, yeah, did you have a nice time? I had a fantastic time. Where'd I went you when go? I was held as I, uh, I caught the train from London right up to Aberdeen. I went to a, oh, a nice, yeah. youth theatre festival when I was about 16. Oh, I bet you had a lovely time. I had a lovely time. Yes, I bet you did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. it was a bit of a sordid laugh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't want to ask you about it because it was probably you were doing some things. So I went, no. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit of haggis here, a little oh, bit of, little bit of piping there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take it easy. Yeah, Come on all right, now. All right. So, um, <laughs> So you moved back to Australia then? I, n I never left. No, I know, but you were here for a long time when you were doing the United States of Tara, right? I would come for three to four months. It wasn't like a... Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, right. it was cable, so it was succinct, and uh, I could still exist in Australia. Yeah. Sydney, not Canberra. Do you get freaked out? Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Sorry. <laughs> I won't bring it up it's again. It's still too painful for me. Oh. The idea that having Australians upset at me is just awful. Oh. Yeah, I had a lovely upset. time in Australia. I went there when I was young. Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> I went to Sydney and Melbourne and Adelaide. Oh, Adelaide. Yeah. Adelaide. You ever been to Adelaide? Yeah, it's oh. kooky. Don't say that! I can say it. I'm Australian. Yeah. I always have a good time in Adelaide, well, but it, is the, the, it has the most churches of all the cities in Australia. Yeah. Um, and also uh, the most uh, serial killers. Yes, yes. That's what it's known for. Yeah, it's known for that. They and my parents had their um, honeymoon there. <laughs> <laughs> Choices. Yeah. I actually went to the, the only ever strip club I've ever been in in my life. <laughs> I danced on my first bar in Adelaide. Did you really? Yeah. yeah. Was it in the Crazy Horse Strip Tea Saloon? No. Oh. I don't know that particular one. All right. What, what bar was it? I don't remember. All right, all right. <laughs> There's a bar I used to go to in Melbourne that was really good called the Prince Pat. You ever been in that bar? Mm, there are so many. No. Oh, there's a lot of bars. Yeah. There, yeah. Mm. 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 <laughs> Oh, we have yeah. kids. Not, yeah, happen no, anymore. I can't. I don't live like that anymore. Anyway, this is my bedtime now. I don't know yeah. what you're doing up. Well, you know, it's twelve thirty-seven in so your region, late. so right there. <laughs> Where do you get? I have a four-year-old daughter, oh, yeah. and my son is uh, one just now this ah, week. Ah, that's yeah. Yeah, I think all women should be applauded yeah. for having children, man. It's full on. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a very intense uh, mm. thing. I was there when both my kids were born. I was mm. like. What? The, uh, this is not what I expected at all. This. 
Yeah. I'm like, I understand there's the baby, but what's all the other what's that, all the other stuff? What's all this? What other stuff? There's like it's just there's there's a lot going on, is what I'm saying. I thought it was like a movie where the baby came out with a little towel around it and its hair curled, kinda of going daddy Cooey. like that, and it was like it's like bah! It was a bit like that. It's, it's like, whoa! It's yeah. the most intense thing ever. That, yes. I mean, it happens every day, and you, I just can't believe it happens every day, all the time. Yeah, we we all got born. It's like mind blowing, you know? <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> It's just a miracle. It's it an is. everyday miracle. It's the miracle of life. It's the circle of life, in fact. The wheel of fortune. The, uh... <laughs> the price is somewhat right. The price is right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, all of that, yeah. We have to take a break. Um, so, how do you feel about that? Fine, by me. How do you guys feel about that? <laughs> Uh, 11 and uh, one and a half. Hi, welcome back. Uh, 11 and one and a half. So, you know, two boys. Um, oh, good for you. Yes, yeah, it's, it's nice. You have boys? I have a girl and a boy. I have one of each. Yeah, that's... Uh, I don't know about raising girls. It'd be tricky for me, I think. I'd, I'd have to, like, when boys would come to... I'd have to shoot them. <laughs> Which is illegal. I, I'm, I'm not getting know. ahead of myself. Right, right now, it's so much fun. I'm just completely in love with them. Yeah, yeah no, But I eventually, don't... yeah, there'll be lots of yeah. changes. Yeah. Such is life. You know. Well, we're out of time. <laughs> not really, but it takes a while to wind this thing up. So oh I, I say we're out of time because then, you know, we can get going. With, I mean, it's like, you know that thing, you, you, the routine you put your kids through before bedtime? Mm. You say it's, you know, we, you start the ritual first, the story, yeah, yeah, then yeah. the uh, bath familiar. time and all. Mm. Well, that's what I'm doing to you now. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm Are going to tuck me in. Yes, I am. Oh I'm going, yeah, I'll, I'll tuck you in. <laughs> yeah. The, hmm. With that fat tie, I'm really scared. <laughs> <laughs> I can show you an exercise. All right, so how do you want to finish this up? Awkward pause, mouth organ, or a big cash prize? Um, awkward pause. Oh, big cash prize. Yeah, of course. What time is it, Joe Stevens? Big cash prize. Big cash prize. 50 American dollars in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it. So Perfect that's for parking. Parking, exactly so. I don't know if they'll work in Australian parking meters, but they will certainly work. I'm here for a little spell. Right. I just like the bag, actually. Mm. Does the bag come with? Sure, you can keep the bag. Yeah, the bag comes with. Yeah, you put the bag in the cup holder and then you drive around town like you're a millionaire. <laughs> All right, two ways to win. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You imagine what's in it. If you get it right, great. If you get it wrong, something awful happens to you. Do I get hints from Jeff? No, no hints. I was about to say. Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Um, what you probably mean is crikey. Crikey. Moses. Crikey. No, I don't think you say Moses. You can't even that. say Moses. No, I say crikey, um, non-specific profit anything from... You TV in this No, country, people get you? upset. Okay. Yeah. You can say crikey, but then they beep it out. <laughs> Uh -huh. um, He's trying, so it's, you know what it is? It's that laugh. horrible trying to help you laugh. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think it's. Um, what, are you, yeah, you, I know who's in there. Oh, you're doing the box? Person. No, but it's a whole ritual. Oh, what do I have to do? Well, first of all, I imagine the box in my head. Okay. All right. You got Jeff, it? Jeff, I'm imagining a box in my head. Do you have it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeff. Do you have a grasp of my box? Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, no. All right. What is in the box, Tony? It's a framed portrait of the Prime Minister of Australia. Who would be? Julia Gillard. It's female, currently. <laughs> I think she may be on the way out, actually. I think we all learned something this evening, then. I learned who the Prime Minister of Australia was and never do a Crikey! NFL monologue either. <laughs> All right. 
You don't like Jeff, football? What, what? Football. You don't like oh, I do like football, actually. Do you ever watch the football? No, but I watched Friday Night Lights. I loved that show. Yeah, that's kind of like football. Mm. <laughs> All right, you ready? Jeff, is she correct? Is yeah. it a framed picture of the Prime Minister of Australia? <laughs> it is, in fact, a framed picture of, of the, the Prime, Prime Minister. Of Australia. 50 American Ripping up our future? Yeah. No, not our future. <laughs> our future road. is unwritten. Oh, wow. That's so pretty. It's nice. <laughs> wow, you've changed since I saw you. Oh, your your really? hair's gone bomb. Isn't that weird? And your shoes have gone. Wow. Boing. Yeah, well, there's a little bit of that going on. You look spectacular. <clears throat> Would, I, would you like me to apologise to you? I'm apologising to everyone tonight. I don't know. I saw a lot of this going on earlier, so I'm a bit concerned. What, what, what would be wrong with that? <laughs> that, maybe? Oh, dear Lord. How are things? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm really well, thanks. Yeah, yeah. good, good. You? Have you moved here from Australia now? Is that it? No. I'm, I, well, I'm about to move to New York, actually. From Australia? Yeah. I live in Sydney, but I live as a gypsy anyway. I kind of work... Really? Do you tell fortunes and dance at night? <laughs> Actually, I do. <laughs> well, kind of, yeah, a little bit. Um, What's that Cher song? Every night the men come around and lay their money down. Sadly, I'm not familiar with that one. What? <laughs> How dare you call yourself a gay icon? Oh, I've heard that. Yeah, you are a little bit, I think. I love that. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's a great compliment. Mm -hmm. It's only you and Liza Minnelli. <laughs> So, um, what's company. going on then? Why are you moving to New York? I am shooting a new TV show called Hostages. Oh. It shoots in New York. Why? 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 I don't know, because it's set in Washington. I'm confused. It's uh, every, every question, the answer is money, so I'm sure they get some kind of rebate. Can I have some? I believe it's the same network, so you probably are getting Oh, <laughs> really? You're doing yeah. it for CBS? Oh, well, then it'll definitely be about money then, for mm, sure. Yeah, yeah. You'll have some old things lying around in New York. What are the what are the things that are in? What's the the series about? It is. Um, I play a surgeon, and uh, I've been chosen to operate on the president of the United of the United States. What kind of surgery do you do? Bottoms. Thoracic. Thoracic. Yes. Dinosaur surgery. <laughs> I'm going to operate on his lung. Oh, right, and right. The, and the night before the operation, um, some guys uh, and girls break into our house and take me and my family hostage and try to convince me to kill him. And if I don't, they say they're going to kill my family. So that's the, the basic premise. Wow, that's very intense. And yeah. they, they're going to make a, a series out of this? Mm -hmm. That's a long kidnapping, if you don't mind me saying so. <laughs> I know, everyone's very intrigued as to where it goes, and it, it has a life, believe me. Yeah, all right, well, good. But you're moving from Sydney to... Uh, New York City. New York City. Yeah, it's very it's exciting. It's yeah, it is a little bit. It's a long way, though. Well, I don't have to commute every day. I only have to do it once. <laughs> yeah, but... Like, what's the... Oh, that's why you're here. You've stopped off. This is actually you between planes from Sydney. You're stopping in L.A., you're doing this show, then you're going to New York. That's pretty much That's true. actually you're what's happening. You're my layover. Happened. Yeah. So much better than L.A. Ah. <laughs> I don't mind being your layover. Oh, dear. I totally set you up for that you one. You did. <laughs> it's true. Is this new? I don't remember seeing it before. Well, you know, that's been around for a while. I got that when I became a citizen. 2008, I got right. that. Five years. It's a big one. Oh, dear. It gets worse. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any? Do you have any ink at all? I do, yeah. Oh, really? What? You, you can't. You've got to have an odd I, number. My, oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, yes. You I have, didn't hear. I've yeah, never heard that. Yes. You know, you have to. <laughs> Where's the? Who made this rule? The judge. Right. And if I don't have an odd number, what will happen to me? Things right. that I can't say. Yeah. A dome may appear over you. What tattoos have you got then? What do you have? Do you have a little uh, one round the back for the ladies, uh, you know, for tramp stamp thing? What? Yeah, you know, a little I lower have, back okay, tattoo. The first one I got, um, actually, that was the first one I got. I have one there. It's a Celtic. I thought I was getting a mer mermaid. It's actually a, a Celtic merman. A merman? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. How can you tell? Hasn't he got his fish trousers on? <laughs> 
they're both scaly. Um, uh, but I love what it represents, which is about just going with the flow and kind of accepting change and, and being at one. You know, water doesn't complain. No, that's true. <laughs> and what's the other one then? The other one is here, and it's a Tibetan Buddhist mandala, which um, represents the beauty or the purity at the centre of every being. Really? And you've got it slightly off the centre. <laughs> Where is centre? I like that very much. <laughs> I like. I don't know where center is. Do you meditate at all? Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. I was, I try, but I just end up getting a little bored. Uh, <laughs> I can't settle into meditation. I have to have vigorous physical activity. Beforehand. During. <laughs> Your mind is the most active of any part of your body? It is now. <laughs> Back in the day, though, I don't know. Oh, I've heard stories. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you have stories about me? Maybe. A little bit, actually. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking no, about. No, it's no, lovely. Don't, don't you're cheeky and it. I love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not just stopping off here. I have a movie coming out. Should we talk about it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> What's the movie? It's called The Way Way Back. You just saw some of it. Yeah, I, that was, the, and that's just the beginning. Mm -mm. Shall I tell you what it's about? Because sure. that's not really indicative of what's, what it's about. Well, these people go on a boat and then, you know, a, a thoracic a monster. Very similar to the lock. Pulls their lungs out that's or something. Much it. Yeah, no, what happens then? Well, it's about this young. I love it, which is why I do want to talk about right, okay, it. Right, okay. I think, yeah. it, and I loved making it. It's um, it's about this boy who's really uncomfortable in himself, and he's he's dragged on this holiday with his mum and her relatively new boyfriend, played by Steve Carell. And Steve Carell's character is a total. Uh oh. And I can't see it, and my son kind of reveals it to me. But we go to his holiday house, and we meet all of his friends, and have this kind of fabulous, a regressive time. And um, Steve Carell's funny. He made me uh, uh, an oyster in New Orleans. He said, I'll eat an oyster. I mean, he shucked one for you? Yeah, no, he, I'd never eaten one. He'd never eaten one. And he said, I'll eat one if you eat one. And then I ate one and he wouldn't eat one. <laughs> he really got you. He did. He doesn't eat them? I look a bit disheveled all of a sudden. I see you notice Pull it that. together, man. I can't help it. I don't you know what it is. Some kind of crazy doctor. I don't know. <laughs> He's just like, handwriting I'm match. like some kind of mad primary school teacher or something. <laughs> like, oh, I, I'm the substitute teacher, children. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I noticed that one of my socks is inside out as well. Look at that. You can barely just tell. I know, I can't, I don't know, I'm a little tired. I think Are that's you? what it is. What are yeah. you doing? Working too hard. Sure. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with Tony Collette, everybody. Right back. Welcome back, everybody. I've been talking to Tony Collette, and she was telling me about her hobbies, which include bedazzling. <laughs> That's right. Have you ever bedazzled any part of your body? You mean like a vidazzle? <laughs> okay, since you bring it up, yeah. No, I don't see you like that. You're a bit more earth mothery, aren't you? You're a bit more kind of. I've never done. It. No, I have never no, done that. No, no. And perhaps I am a little more earth mothery. Yeah, I think of you. You're a very kind of. You're, I'm not want to say hippie. What well, kind of hippie chick? A little bit. I've had. I've been through that phase. Well, what phase are you in now then? I'm a mum. I have no. Well, life. yeah. You don't get a phase <laughs> anymore then. That's it. Mm. Oh. The robot's quiet tonight. How are you going, Jeff? Hey, just hanging out, just yeah. enjoying the entertainment. I'm rather enjoying the uncomfortable nature of us just being quiet and, and Tony not really knowing what to do. It's just like meditation. I'm more than comfortable with oh, it. Oh, really? I Okay, then. Let's meditate. You, you're... Okay. What? No? No? No, tell me. Let's have a share during the meditation. It's a solo journey, dude. <laughs> Are we still talking about meditation? <laughs> As you pick up your snake. Um. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, we're out of time. I'm afraid we're out of time. I think. I'm but let me just tell you this. You were great. 
No, seriously, you're my favorite. Oh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. what you say to everyone. True, but... No, I don't, actually. I like you. You've got promise. <laughs> <laughs> that's special. <laughs> it's good. You know why I'm smoking this pipe? No. I won an award. Uh oh. Is that In your Canada. Award? Is that the, like a trophy? Is that the award? No, this is actually bigger than the award I won. What did you win? I won, there's a title, see underneath the rhino there, that little metal thing? That's yeah. my award. I won it in Canada. For what though? Uh, it's the Peter Ustinov Comedy Award. Congratulations. What people don't know is that, you know, Peter Ustinov, the late Peter Ustinov, <coughs> was actually that size. Congratulations. Thanks very much indeed. So I smoke a pipe That's now. Right. Oh, I see. You're learned and wise and you win things. Well, I wasn't that. <laughs> well, uh, we're done here. Mm -hmm. Anything okay. uh, you want Anything you want to do before I uh, throw to a commercial? Is there anything in there? No, I just I've seen people do this with pipes. I don't know what it is. Oh. Have you ever smoked a pipe and by that I mean marijuana? <laughs> all right, all right. I mean crack. <laughs> oh my God. Have you ever smoked crack? Come on, a little bit, oh maybe a little crack. Oh my God, you are tired. No. <laughs> no, I have not smoked crack. Oh, so what the papers will say tomorrow is Tony Glenn <laughs> denies smoking. smoking crack. <laughs> it's always fun. It's seeing always you. that. <laughs> Tony Glenn, everybody. Remember. Campbell in Parkersburg, West Virginia. He says, hello, Craig and Jeff. What's the best way to tell if a guy is interested in you? Check his penis. 